curiosity about new arrivals is normal at the Pine Grove Correctional Center, but when Jessica Stuckey arrived here in November, some inmates were immediately concerned. They were worried. Stuckey, one inmate told this prisoner advocate, was distraught and did not seem to understand why she was there. She had told me that her concerns were like, you know, Sherry, there's something really wrong. You know, she's like, she's like childlike. She shouldn't be here. Stuckey is 24 and has a genetic chromosomal abnormality called smith magenna syndrome. It's left her with intellectual disabilities. She is... Uh, kind of paused at a developmental stage of about six years old, meaning that um, normally she would she would hopefully have a lot of community supports, which would help keep her out of trouble. When the pandemic hit in 2020, many of those supports went virtual. Which was particularly hard on people who needed that human connection. And Jessica really needs human connection. So unfortunately... Um, Jessica started reaching out to the RCMP. Police say Stuckey began calling 911 multiple times a day, threatening to hurt herself and others. Police also said she threatened to kill two support workers. But instead of getting help suited to her needs, Stuckey was arrested, charged with mischief and uttering threats, denied bail, and placed into the penal system. I could feel people's frustration in dealing with her. But in a way, given her syndrome, I really didn't think she would be charged for just being herself. A medical assessment was court-ordered, but because the nearest psychiatric hospital was full, Stuckey ended up at Pine Grove, a correctional remand centre, where she remained for 36 days until being found not criminally responsible for her actions. Now she's in a psychiatric hospital until a provincial review board determines her fit for release. I'm horrified, honestly, that um, that she would spend so much time in remand. There must be a better way uh, when we know that someone is struggling with such a disability. The criminal justice system is just not the place to fix that problem. Stuckey's psychiatrist agrees. In an email to Global News, Dr. Ken Harrison said Jessica's intellectual disability is not something that can be treated in an acute stabilization psychiatric hospital setting, as there is nothing with her intellectual disability to stabilize. Instead, he's been recommending she receive intensive community supports through a Regina-based organization for the past two years. So every effort to access enough provincial funding for Jessica to enter the program have failed. Harrison said, over the last two years, Jessica has made hundreds of calls to emergency services, mainly secondary to loneliness on her part and not feeling that her needs were being met. Subsequently, with some of the defining characteristics of smith magenna syndrome being impulsivity and a tendency towards aggression, this culminated in the charges that were eventually filed. In a statement, a Saskatchewan ministry spokesperson tells Global News the province partners with third-party service providers to intellectually disabled adults in a way that best suits their individual needs, adding, quote, We want Jessica Stuckey and her family to know we understand their concerns and are here as a support. But that support, Jessica's mother says, has only led Jessica to the criminal justice system. She's got so many questions. She doesn't really understand what's happening. I don't know whether to encourage her or discourage her or I don't know what to say to her. It's why she's making her daughter's experiences public, hoping the next time someone with intellectual disabilities needs help, they don't end up in handcuffs instead. Heather Urex West, Global News.